Hello everyone, welcome back to Phasmophobia. It's a new day! We have new tasks. Discover the ghost type, buy an item in the store, get a ghost to walk through salt, and get a Ouija board response. Hopefully we get a Ouija board in one of our runs. This will happen automatically when we consume pills and the like. Let's go ahead, um, hmm. Let's just do some professional. See if we can knock out several of these in a row. I'm not going to linger. Let's see if we can get like six or seven done in, a, in an hour. <laughs> it is foggy. Firelight. Cleanse the area with incense. Repel the ghost. So this is um, professional, so we have all evidence. We don't need to worry about getting... Um... That was odd. I thought I heard something like the moment we stepped in. We don't need to worry about necessarily uh, identifying the ghost through behavior. Okay. Was that a five? No, it's a three. So it's right around here somewhere. Let me leave that there for now, and we'll just look around the house real quick to get hiding spots and the bone and such. No hiding spot there. Rager. We have a summoning circle. No Ouija board. We have a hiding spot in the basement. Were those shoes normally like that? Or has this one been moved? I'm not sure. I don't have a good picture of those shoes in my head. It could be like some sort of interference to the wall. Maybe it's a twins. No, I didn't see a bone. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's get some stuff. I'm still not entirely sure which room it is. It could be the bathroom or the boys' room. So I'm not going to, you know, stress too hard. I should get the temps down earlier. Let's try putting that, like, there between the two. I don't see orbs anywhere. No obvious fingerprints. And it's gone quiet all of a sudden. Makes you wonder if it teleported next to me to do something and then left. And so we don't really know where it is. It's always possible. How old are you? Are you here? Where are you? Where? Right here? Where are you? Close to him. Okay. So we think it's the bathroom. I'm going to bring this inside. Mm 
people hate to cry. So we have spirit box. I'm not seeing any EMF. Let's bring this in, a crucifix, some salt. Ultraviolet. Not a wraith. How's the how's the temps doing? It's pretty hot. Now it seems like it's over here. Like I might have moved outside this way. It might just be Romy. I mean, we're seeing it go back and forth all the time over here. But it's not cold in there. How old are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Hmm. Are you here? EMF 5. Spear twins. I was saying twins right at the beginning. So what would twins be beyond this? Killing. Freezing. Freezing or writing is what we're at. What else do we need to do? Cleanse? Candle? Sandy's getting a little low. I'm not gonna bother with that though. I'd rather just leave. <laughs> Okay. Okay, now it's hot here. It might be too roamy to actually get down to freezing. So, just based on it not writing, I think I'm inclined to say it's twins. We could be wrong. Again, Edgefield. <laughs> so that was about, what, eight minutes? Something like that? That was decent. That's more items than I can carry. Snowy. Crucifix, firelight photo.
So every room in the house right now is going to be giving me cold breath. But in just a few moments, because we just turned the breaker on, it's all going to flip. And um, only the ghost room will give me cold breath. Okay, basement's a death trap. Don't come down here. Yeah, you can see the temperature slowly rising for the rest of the house. There's a bone. That's a curious placement for the bone. Dirty water. Was that dirty water or was that? Yeah, that was not. We missed the interaction. Yeah, look at that go down. That's going to be a freezing ghost, I think, just because of how fast it's going. Ooh, it might be right here. No, it's just it's wandering. It's like an upstairs ghost. Here's a hiding spot. Looks kind of EMF 5 Kind of, maybe. How old are you? Are you here? How old are you? Are you here? Where are you? Where are you? From behind. Okay. So it was in this room for a moment at least. Uh, it looks hot though. And this is very, well, this is cold-ish. Writing. Well, Ghost, you're interacting all over the place, but I can't seem to localize you. So what we got? We got spirit box. We got writing. Spirit polter mare moro ideo. What's our sanity doing? It's holding pretty steady. I think this ghost is wandering rather than um, it just being. Oh, okay, that was in the hallway. It killed my lights. I, I don't know. Clearly going up there. Clearly going up. It's going down here. Maybe this is the room? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, so it's here now. Didn't step on the salt.
You going sub zero? Doesn't look like it. That looks very EMF fivey. If not our more right, our sanity will be doing different things. Not seeing orbs anywhere. An elderly victim. Yes, an elderly victim. That door was just wherever. Where was that? That was just all over the place. Was that down here? Yeah, okay. EMF 5. So it's a spirit. What do we need to do with you? Crucifix, firelight, photo. I think we'll just pass. Well, we could try to firelight. Just real quick. We'll give it a chance. Oh, it turned on the computer. That's a rare one. There we go. How'd you skip that one but not the others? That's rare. Unusual. Blow out the candle. Oh, it left. It like ran over there. I think it's probably in a different room now. I'm not going to track it down again. So we didn't get our candle. We got a couple pictures. And then it just walked back right back. Come on, blow out the candle. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So much less money when you don't do it with the other optional objectives. <laughs> it might be better money per time, though. It depends. Ridgeview!
Firelight, crucifix, cleanse. We have cards. Let's use a card. I haven't. I have not checked a single hiding spot. Nothing. Oh, I should check hiding spots. There's not one there. Not in the garage. Nope. Let's make sure. Let's see what the basement's like. Oh, wait. Ouija board. Do we have a Ouija board? No. I need to get a Ouija board response at some point. Hey, we got a hiding spot even. Okay. The basement is not a death trap. Okay. I was reading this interesting essay. Or actually, I wasn't actually reading it. I was watching it, a video of someone else talking about it. About something they read. <laughs> this is getting a bit meta. So, I was reading... Well. What could that be? Something in here? Get thrown? This essay was saying that... Um, it's not good that games have these minor objectives now. That sound like... Yeah, okay, so it's out here. <clears throat> and I have to admit, I flat out play more because of the daily objectives. Like, I'm, I would probably get tired of this game if there wasn't something that, that brought me back in every single day to uh, do it. Even if there wasn't, you know, even if it's not important. I mean, it's it's it's... Maybe that's another way of looking at it. The game, by not giving me these long lists of objectives, is actively discouraging me from continuing to play. Like, I never play this more than an hour a day. And, um, I know that's about as long as the... Well, not always, even. But, yeah. Um, the whole idea was that we don't play games for fun anymore. We just play games to, to accomplish various objectives. And that is perhaps a shame. Did we lose our breaker? Yeah. How old are you? You're probably not even here. It's like how, um, because there's a leveling system, there's a bunch of people that right now what they do is they just they do custom difficulty. And they do the difficult. They they set it up so that it's very easy to to maximize. They optimize it. They set it up so that you can complete missions quickly, easily, and for good payouts, which are not necessarily the most fun missions. They're just the most optimal missions for level grinding. We have orbs. I haven't had orbs in a while. This might be a tricky one to get, uh, there's like no doors. We'll have to get, uh, some salt down. This might sound silly, but I was actually thinking of perhaps getting back into Lord of the Rings Online. I know, it, it's just this ridiculously old game, but I've heard good things recently. Like, they apparently made some some impressive changes to it. And it was uh, related to this, uh, this, ish, this uh, article, where they were talking about how being inefficient when you're playing games is something that we don't do anymore. Anyway, let's move away from this topic. How old are you? An elderly victim. Alright. Now I heard something. 
But I don't think it was here. I think it was through the wall. Yeah. Hey, there's the bone. Okay. I have a camera right here, don't I? By the way, that tower card in the beginning was awfully useless, don't you think? The ghost was right here, and it didn't even make it interact. Temps. Yeah, they feel high. Actually, it's going up slightly, isn't it? So the ghost is a Roman. Might not even be here anymore. How old are you? Are you here? What do I got? So we got a spirit box and orbs. Uh, Mary, Yokai, on Rio. Ultraviolet doesn't matter, so we only test it. Freezing is on Rio. Dots is Yokai. And writing for the mayor. Did it turn on a light? I don't think so. No, I don't think it did. It didn't turn on its own light. Our sanity is really good for right now, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's see if we can get some ghost locations. It turned off the breaker. But any of the ghosts can do that. Yep. Breaker's in the basement, isn't it? Did we ever find the breaker? Did it not turn off the breaker? Or we just never actually... Wait a minute, did I just walk right past it? Was it in the garage? No, it's right here. We never turned it on, though. We found the ghost too quick, and I was busy talking. My bad. Was that this one? Or was it that one? Hmm. Okay, so it's, it's going back and forth over there. In fact, this foyer is colder now. So it might have changed rooms, or it might just be... playing around. I'm going to leave this here and turn this off. Oh, it's freezing. Okay. Well, that makes it easy. On Rio. Overview. Firelight. Crucifix. Cleanse. We should better get the firelight one, because it's not real. In fact, we can just do this. We need to cleanse. Never mind. I need to do this. Flashing the lights out here? Really? But 
I can't pick these up anymore. It's so frustrating. Come on, Rio, blow out the candle. Well, now it seems like it's all over there. There we go. So, on Rio. Sometimes it's fun just to blast out a bunch of games like this. Oh, it was the Mimic! I've got some jobs ready for you. I should have looked for, for... I should have put down... Oh, we got Mimicked. So what am so I did not see its ultraviolet. If it had had if I brought salt, I would have been able to see it. Oh well. We got mimicked. Grafton. I should just keep that in mind. Whenever you see orbs, you should check for a mimic. <laughs> even if you don't even if you think you have it as another ghost. I mean, I did blow out that candle pretty quick. Grant Robinson. Cleanse. Ghost event. Firelight. Have we gotten firelight on every single mission so far? It's possible. Okay. Even after this many hours in the game, I still don't know which way the doors swing open. Sometimes. Alright, nothing here. Nope, no breaker. We have a hiding spot in here, though. It's a good one too, because you're gonna break line of sight the moment you come in the door, and then you're you're hidden. Uh, let's check this bathroom for the bone real quick. I think I just heard something get knocked over in this room or out here. There's another decent hiding spot. So it threw this plate. So it's probably right here. Yeah, I'm going to leave this here on the table. Where'd that go? Did it fall to the floor? No. It's just, it's hiding beneath the, the texture for the, um, the tablecloth. <laughs> Let's go find the breaker before we do anything else. I saw the ghost walking, but it's anyway. I wish the ghost would do that. I wish you just like occasionally see the ghost walking around, no spooky sounds or flashing lights or anything like that. Just the ghost, just there, being spooky. Like I don't want to be startled. I want an atmosphere that's just ridiculously creepy. Like, you look over there and you see the ghost looking there straight up at you. That would be creepy. There's the bone. Lots of skulls these days. Uh, I didn't see the item. What is the item? Hello. Was that good? Yeah, three-star ghost photo. But where's the item? Oh, it's a music box. Good thing that didn't interfere with our picture.
attempts. Where is that? Is that in the other room? It threw the little bunny too. All right, let's get some stuff. That was the ghost event, so it doesn't count as EMF. Get it. <laughs> I click the thing, it doesn't work. This is a big room, so it's a little tricky to get it. Might have to bring in multiple copies of thingies. It's also got a ton of potential interaction targets. So who knows if it's actually going to interact with what we want it to. No orbs at the moment. Hi there. You've done a couple events in a row. Is that going to be a thing for you? Are you an Oni? Perhaps. Where are you? Okay, not an Oni. This room is a disaster for dots. I have no idea how to get dots in this room. Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? This is a tricky one. Let's get some salt. I think we might need to sanity up. I bring this, that. No, not 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 that. Not yet. Put this one over here ish. Oh. Hey, it's ultraviolet. Nice. Where's my camera? Oh, I got one. <laughs> that was quite a throw.
I'm gonna say not freezing, just based on how long it's had a chance to. It's EMF. So not freezing, not box, not orbs. It's a Goyo, I'm betting. Did you hear me say your name, Goryo? Let's see if we can actually get it. I like set it up to be looked at. So the tricky thing with Goryo is that you can't get it when in, in person. You can't see their dots when you're there. You have to get to the, see their dots through a camera from a different room or from the truck. We'll go in again to make sure it's not. It hasn't been, um, it hasn't written, but I don't think it's going to write. I think it's a Goryeo. Unfortunately, it, we could wait a very long time before Dots happens outside of the room. Because the way Dots works in these days is that the ghost enters like a Dots state, and then it walks around. And if you're in the room, it walks towards you. That's my understanding. We're not in the room. So it, it's going to enter a dot state and just sit there. So if, by it might be wandering around still, but it, only if it was doing that as part of its normal behavior. So there's no, no way to direct it towards a particular place. Anyway, I'm not seeing it, but I'm betting it's there. What else do we need to do? Cleanse? Candle? Oops. Da, 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 da. Did we lose our breaker? So we did. More EMF fivey. Okay. Did not write. Did not write. You're a Goryo. Oh, I can still blow out the candle. Well, you have until I get back to the truck. I'll even walk slowly. No, no good. Just rocking the chair. <laughs> What's our sanity? I'll put in another candle. Just in the hopes of getting it. Still hasn't written, still hasn't written. All right. Still hasn't blown out the candle. Our sanity was really high. I guess that's because we pilled. Yep. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. All right. 
Weather Street. We're making some decent progress. We did, what, four missions and got three of them right? It's not terrible. EMF Photo Repel. We haven't got hunted once, though. Maybe I'm being boring. I'm playing this more like a puzzle game. Okay, we immediately have a door. Which door was that? This one. Okay. So hallway or this room? Let's check out, see what the basement's like before we commit to this. Got a hand. And a hiding spot and a breaker. But no item. Got a hiding spot there too. Oh, finally a Ouija board. How old are you? Goodbye. Objective complete. Two hiding spots in there in the garage right next to each other. I tried to get the book down as soon as possible. I tried to get the thermo down as soon as possible also. My, which of those two principles I follow ends up randomly being, you know, chosen. So this time we did not go with the thermo. Not for any particular reason. Yeah, uh, not ultraviolet. Probably not. Still potentially. Well, okay. All right, that's pretty good against an Obake. An Obake does not has a chance of not leaving fingerprints, but the more you check and don't find them, the more likely it's okay. We got writing. Writing, no orbs. Haven't seen EMF yet. Seemingly not ultraviolet. I did that. Look at that. No, this time we're gonna def well leave that one then bring this. You know, I changed my mind. What I'm in the mood for is some sort of a farming sim. Like a new rune factory or something. Maybe I'll try that, um, 
that Harvest Stella game. I was curious about that. I've heard that it's a fun game, but it doesn't do very well as like a farming game. But maybe I'll give it a try. Here, you start cooling down. But there's like a new one route, right? Um, ah! Stop it. Be mean. There's a new one. There's like one that's like a farming sim, but it's got like magic. I'm kind of curious. How are you doing ghost events way out here in the kitchen, but you're back there in that room? Are you teleporting to me? Are you a banshee? Or something of that sort? I don't know why I brought this and I already know it's about. I already know it writes. How old are you? An elderly victim. Okay. Shoot. Elderly victim. Ah, I wrote again. You see, it starts. It, it see, okay, it's freezing. They write much more. Oh, it's a mora. Let's get out of here. Um, writing is one of the most frustrating pieces of evidence to get because you can't actively do it. Like you can walk around with a spirit box. You can walk around with an EMF trying to read stuff. Uh, um, but with with writing, you just put it down and wait. <laughs> <laughs> Which is frustrating for me, at least. Um, but when it is writing, it seems like it does get it pretty quick. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. All right, one more. Let's do one more. I guess I guess high school's next. This might be a long one. We've arrived. Boggy high school. <laughs> Ghost event, cleanse, parabolic. I think we're going to go in with a smudge stick and see what item we have and potentially use it as a way of getting the finding the ghost. What do we got? Cards. Long hunt. Someone was asking, by the way, during a hunt, 
you cannot flick a switch. But once you can flick a switch, um, it'll it signifies the hunt's over. So before um, I I was clicking and I wasn't doing anything. Now we're just doing things. I didn't hear a thing. I did not hear a single single thing at all. Which means that it is not anywhere close. Probably on the second floor, on one of the sides. Or way in the back. I don't believe in parabolics for this. I just don't think they're very good. I'm going to go wander around. Where's the breaker? It's on the right side. We'll go there first. So the one potential good part of that is that if the ghost um, roamed around a bit, we might find lots of moved doors. I mean, we can't tell of their original position anyway, but um, I don't know. We might see something. It's less useful in high school. Getting a, um, a death card on your first pull is not a bad thing because you end up getting all the information from a hunt. If you can survive it, of course. Or it's, um, you get, get all the information that you would get from a hunt, but then you still have high sanity. Like, I'm still in the 90s. I wouldn't expect all the doors to be shut. That's a little sketch. So that means probably not. Um, the lighting engine, and this is weird too. It keeps on flickering. So when the ghost hunts, I would expect that as it walked by things, there'd be a mix of open and closed doors. Here's an open door. Are you here? It's getting warmer in here, so no, nah, it's not in here. Normally, after a hunt, you're too afraid of the next hunt to actually take much advantage of it. Here's something. Are you here? We got some low temps. Not that low, though. Like maybe it walked through here, potentially. Hmm, this is hot, so it's not here. But yeah, you normally don't get to think about the benefits of a hunt. Because it's, you know, it's disruptive. It's scary. Only thing we've gotten so far was that one room. And everything else here is shut. Hmm. Let's go back and check that again. It's definitely cold, colder. It goes down right away, but then it stops. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the impression that like the ghost was here, but now the room's heating back up to normal. So this is not the ghost room. Maybe it's below us. Maybe that was what happened. The ghost, um, the ghost came upstairs right away, and that's why we weren't able to find it very much, or didn't hear anything from it. Here's an open door. 
Oh. Well. Was that here? Here's the cold room. Alright, and yeah. And it doesn't seem like it's ultraviolet. Yeah, that it must have gone upstairs right away. Because from where it is, it could have gotten to us in the lobby. Like, it probably almost saw us. If, um... Before we ducked into that room. It must have just gone straight upstairs when it lost that line of sight on us. If it even saw us. Did we, did we have escape from the ghost? No. So we don't know. Hey, we found the ghost room in high school. It's worth it. Worth something being... Worth being happy about. Look at that! Just complete white! Because it's foggy. <laughs> oh. I keep thinking, yeah, it must have came right out there and it could have seen us because we were right there. I bet it did see us. We have orbs. Remember to test from. Oh, we we have not. Um, we know it's not ultraviolet, so it's not a mimic. Are you here? Are you friendly? How old are you? How old are you? Are you here? little scary are you here how old are you where are you are you friendly can you hear me mayor i think that was too late for a mayor so mares have a thing where if you turn on a light, they have a chance to immediately turn it off. And it's like pretty close. Like it's flick, it's like you click and then they click it right after it. I think that was too much of a delay. It just randomly chose to interact with that light switch while we were, you know, within a few seconds of our, our turning it on. So what do we know? We know it's um, not spirit box. We know it is orbs, not ultraviolet. Could be a Thay. Or a Raichu. This is a dangerous category. I'm gonna say it. Because we're putting down all this electric equipment <laughs> to detect the ghost. Oh, it's very freezing. So a revenant or a yurei? It's a revenant. That's the issue. Yeah, that's why we didn't hear anything. Because it took so long to move around that it wasn't able to move to get so much done. So what would that be? That's also writing. Now we don't have writing yet. But what's yurei? Dots? Here, we don't need you.
do some dot stuff. Or write or something. Would you please write in my book? It's right there. We know it hasn't written yet. Come on, ghost. You can do it. It's suddenly gone very quiet. It's writing! There we go. It is a revenant. Which explains the earlier hunt. Hey, I guess we did get hunted at least once during this time. That's that's good. Otherwise, it would have been very boring. These trees, like in this in this in this fog, remind me of the void. Like this reminds me of um of what's her name's garden, um, Yanni's, uh, or even even Nameless's garden. Yeah, this 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 is very much like Nameless's garden. Anyway, great game, strong recommend. The Void, Tension, Trigger. I have a playthrough of it. All right, let's uh let's go. No, oh, I could have cleansed. Blah, whatever. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Almost 47. I think we get something at 47. I don't remember what it was, but I remember that's a level to be happy about. <laughs> But we will have to see that tomorrow. After all, we have ceased to have external validation. Although apparently we still need salt. Maybe we have all tomorrow. I'll probably do it something tomorrow morning. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time.